Jay McCullough reporting live. Uh, as you might be able to tell, it's a pretty slow news day. Uh, we've got a can of Chef Boyardee mini ravioli uh, in front of us. You might be asking yourself, uh, why is this there? This is the kind of content that I tune in for. Uh, I could not agree with you more, uh, but truth be told, we had some um, excellent food earlier today, um, some chow pen, and uh, perusing the, the cabinets afterwards, looking for what is dessert tonight gonna be. And I came across this can. This was on the lower shelf where I keep our pickles and things. And this is actually uh, May 6th, 2022, expiring. So we gotta get to this. And uh, normally if I was doing a Chef Boyardee uh, shootout here, I definitely would go for the overstuffed, which I was introduced to in high school and they still make the stuff. Um, but this is just a classic traditional mini ravioli, which probably back in the 1980s when this first entered the scene, or maybe even before then, these were probably, um, there was no overstuffed, mar again, marketing departments back then, much more traditional. So this is what you got and you were happy and there was enough meat in there for you. But uh, let's figure it out. We're gonna see, is this still worth it? Um, I mean, that's the, that same kind of SpaghettiOs goofin sauce that you're used to. Uh, we're just going to uh, tilt this camera around right here, and come over to the stove, and I'll explain how I'm doing this later, because you might be thinking like, oh, is uh, is that silent tripod person back? Uh, no, they're still on the freaking Poconos. hate the Poconos. Okay, so we're in Hoboken, so if you don't keep your pans and pots in the oven, uh, you're lying yourself because no one has that much room in their kitchen. These are tiny little kitchens here in Hoboken, so we're just going to crank up the heat here. Uh, this is actually a... I want to say a saucier pan from All Clad. I got this at one of the uh, All Clad outlet sales, um, which is a great way to pick up their stuff. Uh, if there's little cosmetic things or something, uh, you can find yourself a healthy discount, which almost makes these wonderful pots and pans reasonably priced. Still pretty expensive. Um, looking at the can here, just look at the instructions. It's saying uh, microwave. You're not going to do that. I mean, look, you're, you're cranking into a can here. You should already feel bad about yourself. But to microwave something like this when you could just put it over a stove, unless you really don't have a stove on you and you're just maybe in a college dorm room, that's fine. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, just do the bare possible minimum here. Just be a human being and, and put it on the stove. Um, so we're using a little, uh, this is a uh, mini spatulas. Love these things, uh, silicone coated spatulas. Uh, we got another one here, which somehow always ends up in this tall can. It should actually be stored in the drawer. There's a little system here. I just want to remind the ladies at home about processes. Processes, Irina. We must understand processes. Uh, so this is for the uh, taller utensils. But anyway, we kind of have like a red silicon thing going on here. Uh, this is coming up the temp pretty nicely. And uh, these actually came with our, this is a thermo pen, which tells you how hot something is. It is currently 77 degrees here. If I put this into the fire, it is much hotter. It's uh, cranking right up past the, the several hundreds there. Um, so let's just see what this is coming up. The temp here, we're currently at about 82 degrees. So we just want to bring this up to a nice simmer. And at this point, I'm going to lower the heat now that the sauce is up there. And we're going to probably just cook this for a little bit. Um, to, to see what would be a good temperature coming through. We, we do want, I do want the actual raviolis. I don't just want the sauce to be hot. I do want the raviolis to be pretty warm. Um, so we're gonna wait for that, but hopefully not wasting too much of your time here. Um, really, I probably should have thought of something to talk about during, during this whole ordeal. Uh, really didn't come to me. Um, so Taste Buds Tacos. I mean, I love these guys. I just had one today while I was walking the dog around three o'clock. I went over to their location by the high school, which actually just has a traditional menu there. They don't have birria tacos. Uh, those you have to go to, it seems like they're doing them almost every other day now. Uh, now the Church Square Park, the original location. And uh, briefly, I don't know if anyone remembers, uh, the Taco, the Taste Buds guys originally had a, uh, this was the second truck was on Washington briefly, and they were doing kebabs and stuff there, and I guess that, that didn't stick. Uh, so they, uh, that was kind of short-lived, and then they started working on the truck a few months later over in Columbus Park. And so now almost every day, I believe they have two trucks running. Um, and they're, they're doing like gangbusters over there. They got uh, once school lets out, they've got tons of, uh, tons of orders flying out the shelf. You walk over there and you'll easily see a crowd of about 20 people waiting for quesadillas and tacos to come out there. Uh, so again, not surprising you don't want to do the beer up time. I mean, I'm sure the quesadillas and the tacos are money makers on their own. Um, haven't been able to go to Union City. I know there's some beer places up there that have recently just opened. So the only beer I've had in Hoboken so far has actually been uh, from Taste Buds. And um, I know it's contentious. They put cheese on theirs. Um, I know maybe I think traditional birria wouldn't. Um, we did get a chance to go to, I'm forgetting the name of the restaurant, but it was the Lamb Birria uh, in uh, Philadelphia. And uh, she was on one of the Netflix uh, Chef's Table seasons. Um, excellent, love that birria there. Um, and that's kind of like a whole different level. Um, anyway, uh, I think these are coming up good. Just gonna 
get over and grab, just plate this a little bit. This balances, lower this down. Uh, let's just do a quick temp check. This is pretty up. Uh, yeah, 160 is on the on there, and I can see the, the raviolis are definitely floating around there, so they are up to temp easily. And we're just going to get a few of these in here and give you the play-by-play -play on what to expect. Uh, so again, uh, if you make it up to uh, Union City, Beria, Beria and Union City, I think there's some great options up there and maybe some also in the Heights. We're just going to swing back around here. Uh, I've also been spending my time uh, most of the day trying to think about uh, what kind of tripod to get because... Again, the freaking Poconos, when your best tripod is in the Poconos, you really need to fall back here. Can't keep stacking things on plastic containers. Okay, so this is the, this is not the overstuffed. Again, this is just a regular Chef Boyardee. And let's just get this in there. It's, I don't know, the lighting is probably horrible here. I don't know if you can even see it. There we go. Um, yeah, I mean, so, I mean, there's definitely a hint of meat in there. It's not much, um, but I, I'm going to reckon the, say the flavor is probably there. Yeah, it's as nice as I remember them being. I mean, there's, this is kind of one of those timeless classics. And again, I, I do think the really the overstuffed, um, the overstuffed would be a huge upgrade here because that really hits the ratio. This is kind of, um, kind of makes me think about slider hamburgers. This may be more like a White Castle where you got a lot of bun there, you got a lot of noodle, not much meat in the middle. But if you go over to White Mana, over, I prefer the Hackensack location to the one in Jersey City, but it's nice to have two options, let's, let's, let's not lie. Uh, the Hackensack location, you get their double slider or even this single. There's a much better meat to uh, bun ratio there with those Martin's potato rolls. This is nothing like a white man slider, but um, I mean, for a Wednesday evening, you know, it kind of hits the spot. I'm not going to lie there. Um, so there it is. Uh, Chef Boyardee. Mini ravioli. Uh, heated this up. Probably took us six minutes. I'm sure I'll go to the video later and realize I've been speaking for about 15 minutes here and wasting your time. But uh, mini ravioli, if you pick it up, uh, get the overstuff and um, try to eat it before it goes bad. Don't, don't put it all the way back in the back of your, uh, wherever you put cans. What is that called again? Where do you put cans? Pantry. Don't put it in the back of the pantry where you're going to forget about it. Anyway, have a good night. Um, see you next time. Hopefully I'll have something better prepared for us. Bye-bye.